What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Interrate Performance. Today we're going to be doing a review on RC fuel injections. Now, I did open up this package already unfortunately, but I did want to see what they provided so I know what I need to look for in the video. And uh, today we're going to be going over um, the help they gave me. Now, I bought some pretty sketchy injectors. Um, well, to me they seem sketchy, they were off a website, I've done a review before on AliExpress. They claim to be... 850 cc injectors um, at 60 pounds and they claim to be perfect fits for Hondas and any B series, D series engines, H series as well. Now I ordered them, they were pretty cheap. I'll put the listing right here. And you guys will get to see, you know, make the decision on them yourself. Uh, the reason I'm saying this is RC Fuel Injection Review, though, is because I actually called them up. I didn't know a better company to call and ask for help. Now, I asked, uh, I spoke to Wayne, and I personally asked him, hey, you know, do you mind helping me out? I'm not sure if these injectors are really what they say they are. Uh, they seem pretty sketchy. And maybe if I need new ones, you know, test them, clean them, you know, check them out for me. How, like, if you can help me out. And Wayne went above and beyond customer service now. He uh, tested them. He did clean them for me. Um, he let me know, pretty much helped me map them in a way. Pretty much give me what they can withstand, what they can hold. And he tested them actually under what the factory recommendation is per the seller. So the seller actually just gave me this sheet right here. And said that's how you run them. They didn't have any other information on them that they were Bosch uh, EV1 plugs or something like that, pretty much. So now we're opening up the package, and right away, you know, it was secure a lot better. I don't know if you guys could tell, but this is for me trying to open it up the first time. I had a pretty bit of a hard time. And uh, right away, we get our two stickers a black and red RC fuel injection stickers. Which will be going in my fridge also. Uh, and then we... So I asked Wayne for a recommendation if they're actually bad or not. He, what he was telling me was he doesn't really ever see ejectors that are, are bad. Like they don't perform as they say they are. They might be a little bit weaker, might be uneven, or they just don't work. Never that injectors are, you know, somewhat good, somewhat bad. Either they do what they say or they don't. And actually... Asked him for a recommendation, what he thinks, and they actually have a new product. Their RC Fuel Injection SB21750 is by Bosch, and they're 179 bucks. So, if you guys can see, they perform pretty well. 1,960 cc's per minute at 55 psi, or 1,750 cc's per minute at 43.5 psi, which is, you know, the average rate. So, the flow rate is a... Uh, 187 pounds per hour and at 55 or 166 pounds per hour at 43.5 psi 9 ohms at 68 degrees Fahrenheit 8 to 15 volts normally ran at 13.5 volts uh, 1.5 amps at 13.5 volts uh, pressure the minimum is 30 uh, psi and if you guys see here's their contact information and the listing they're a really good company, really good brand. If you guys don't know about them, check them out. I will be putting their website here, and their social media here, again at the end of the video. But go check them out. They're really awesome. All right, big shout out to Wayne. He helped me out so much, more than any other local shop wanted to help me out. They kept telling me they can't check pressure. They can't really test them. They can't really do all kinds of things, which to me doesn't really seem right, especially from performance shops. So... This right here is actually what they did to him, where they checked him out for me. And okay, so as you guys can see here, they didn't really know the maker model. I didn't either. I didn't really get a brand for them. Um, but if you could see right here, like I said, he did do uh, cleaning and testing for me. But he didn't put the after cleaning results because he said there was no real change. Um, plus, he helped me out a lot, you know. 
So their pattern before was pretty fair. He said they did improve. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the videos for you guys that um, of that. But as you can see, 961, 871, 862, and 911. And that's at 43.5 uh, PSI. So that's really not bad at all. That's performing above what the manufacturers have told me. So even if you look at like... Yeah, see, so they're they're gonna perform pretty well. They are gonna be for my LSB tech build, and if you look, here is another sheet that gives the minimum and the maximum maxing them out at 100 psi. So they they or 100% duty cycle. Sorry, 100% duty cycle. So they did give a pretty good explanation of them. So as you can see, oh sorry, this is backwards for you guys, isn't it? But saying uh, 961, 871, 862, 911 being the highest, lowest being 99, 84, 12, and 150. Next, what we have here is the invoice. Um, yeah, so this is the invoice right here and they actually shipped this out very fast to me it, um, it took maybe a week total from the time I spoke to Wayne shipped out the injectors uh, he tested them cleaned them uh, gave me the data and sent them back in the reaction we returned to me so next thing we have in this box is the injectors themselves so let's open these up for you guys And as you can see, they say 150 cc's on them. Uh, they give a part number right there, and when you Google it, all kinds of stuff comes up. For AliExpress's website, the EV4 plug. Um, he cleaned them up. If I could find pictures, I will. They did were a little bit dirty in there. And oh, quick thing, he labeled them on the caps for me, which is really cool. So I know which one performs how. And it looks like, if you could see in there. He may have, he capped them for me. Um, they had some like big old, like, uh, how do I explain it? I guess almost like a blockage in there. And that's actually been removed, which is awesome. Um, with no damage at all, they actually have been cleaned. And if I could find original pictures for that as well, I will. But they look a lot cleaner, a lot better. Seals and everything are still good too. Um, normally they charge $100 for testing and cleaning. And then I believe close to $13 a piece just to test them. Now, like I said, Wayne did me a huge favor. You know, I talked to him. He's a real good guy and actually helped me out a lot. So, you know, he's all about customer service. If you guys can request him, I would. Now, I'm not sponsored by them, even though I would love to be. This video is not a sponsorship video, but it is to, you know, help build awareness and show some appreciation and thanks to customers who are, to companies that actually look out for their customers. So if you guys need anything fuel injection wise, go check them out. You know, they're really awesome, really good brand. Uh, they have tons of products online, and like I said, I'll be putting another link to their website here, link to their social media here, and make sure you guys go check them out. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about them, whether or not it's good or bad. This really isn't the AliExpress review of these. Um, it's more of an RC fuel injection uh, review because they did go above and beyond. They did help me out so much. So uh, let them know. And I sent you guys. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by them, but I would love to be. I'd greatly appreciate it. Those guys are freaking awesome. They know what they're doing. Um, thank you guys and have a great night.